Hello, hello, hello. Hey, friends, this is Ian Khan. This is March the 2nd, Monday, March the 2nd. Monday, March the 2nd. I'm here in Toronto, and I'm really, really upset today. I'm uh, I'm just very frustrated, and I'm going to share my frustration with you in a second. Uh, and it's, it's primarily to do with the fact that I am unable to do something about a particular thing. And I'm sure you've faced this problem before. You've gone through this in your life. But the fact that you can do nothing is a very frustrating fact. And here's my here's my pet peeve today. If you're watching this, then tell me if you agree with me or not. Just comment on my post. Just look at my live feed and just comment there and I will respond back. I'm just really frustrated with the entire fact that we're dealing with the situation globally with this coronavirus and we can do nothing about it. We cannot stop it. We're not, we're unable to impact it. And the only thing we can do is just take precautions. It's very unfortunate that, um, uh, that I think globally entire, the entire humanity today is engulfed in the challenge of coronavirus. This is the biggest problem that we all are facing uh, in some parts of the world there's complete panic in some parts of the world people don't care some parts of the world have been completely quarantined and uh, in many parts of the world people are hoping they don't get quarantined so the the biggest challenge today is not the fact that you are going to get sick or something's going to happen to you or your family but the fact that you might get quarantined it's very frustrating to see humanity go through the challenges that it's going through right now i mean we're already dealing with things such as climate change, human trafficking, poverty, uh, over 2 billion people not having access to basic health care, over a billion people not having access to uh, sanitary facilities. And here we are dealing with something entirely new that we were totally not ready for. Now, there's many different um, uh, theories about where this whole thing has come from. But it, it, the common person like me doesn't care where this thing came from. Uh, have you dealt with something like this before where you couldn't control an outcome, where you um, couldn't change anything, but you just had to sit through it? You just had to sit through it. I've been through it many times in my life, and I, you just have to go through it. You just have to go through it. That's the only way to do this. Um, here in Canada... We've had uh, the government announce the fact that Canadians should be ready for uh, just prepare, uh, you know, have a couple of weeks res reserves for in case you get quarantined, in case something happens. In the U.S., it's much there's much more panic in the United States, and uh, people are stocking up on things. And I've been talking with my friends and colleagues, and everybody's not necessarily panicked but generally stocking up and, and doing their due diligence, which is a great thing to do. And if you feel that your region, your country, your city, your neighborhood is a potential hazard, and there might be some issue, please make sure you've got reserves for food, canned food, candles, um, clean drinking water, uh, baby food. If you've got kids at home, please make sure you do that and don't leave it to the last minute. This is not a game. This is not a joke. Uh, the biggest frustration is when we're stuck and we're unable to do something. But right now, I think we still have some options. Uh, you can still go and buy some things without panicking or any of that. Um, and that's my pet peeve of today. Why have we come to a point in our in our in our history of development of humanity to be at the stage where we can't help it? We can't do anything about it. Now, many people will say, well, because we've uh, severely industri industrialized ourselves. And we've um, uh, done too much genetic modification. And there's uh, really bad guys out there in companies who have changed the planet and changed the face of the earth, over farmed and, and all of that. But I, I really don't think that we've done much. We have not done much, ladies and gentlemen, just because some people have created automation and they've done some experiments and they've done genetic mutation doesn't mean anything. We're just in a, in a very, you know, if, if in a timeline of, uh, zero to 100, we're just getting started. We're just getting started as a species, as humanity. And I think it's terrible that we have to deal with disease that's that's affecting people worldwide. Um, the economy, the economic impact of uh, such a, such a thing is terrible. 
because uh, it's not just what is happening now, it's what will happen after everything is uh, done with. How long does it take for the planet, the earth, people to recover? Now, keep in mind that many people in the world are uh, living day, day to day. They live on a daily wage. They make less than a dollar a day. And so to, to hit their bottom line is terrible. It's terrible, terrible. And it just makes me really frustrated that we're unable to do anything about it. Um, if only had we known. I think, please, uh, my suggestion is please reach out to your community. Make sure everybody's okay. Make sure your neighbors, your friends are okay. And more than that, people who don't have anything are okay as well. And they're not suffering because of, uh, because of this. Um, right now, there's uh, generally a global impact of uh, the coronavirus outbreak. Um, industries have uh, stopped working, factories have stopped producing, shipments are sitting there, they're not being shipped, container folds of ships are, are sitting there and they're not moving. Um, in addition, events are being canceled, companies, many companies have stopped uh, travel, non-essential travel for their staff. And so all of these things are compounding, they're all compounding a little bit here and there uh, and generally slowing down the economic uh, mechanism of the world. I mean, you look at it, Japan is paralyzed, China is paralyzed. Uh, some major economic powers are paralyzed right now uh, because of coronavirus. They're working on a cure. They haven't found it. Um, and many people say, well, coronaviruses have been out there forever. What's the problem? And, you know, it's just one of those things that will come and pass. Hopefully that is true. But my frustration still remains that that we we ought to know better. We've got to be able to be much prepared in the future for things like this that can that can affect people and that can that can change us uh, as who we are. Uh, in addition to that, I wanted to give you a recommendation um, on this week because if you're not working from your workplace, if you're spending time or at home, you've been quarantined or you're you have a work from home week in case you've been affected, then start reading. Here's a cool book that I um, I always have around me. It's called uh, Blockchain for Dummies uh, by Tiana Lawrence. It's a really cool book. Uh, you will understand a lot about blockchain from this nifty little uh, book. And you can see I've, uh, it's it's got a, quite a rundown uh, because of uh, my work. But uh, what are you reading right now? Tell me what you're reading right now, and I can give you uh, some recommendations, some more insights. I always share a book on my vlog, how you can do things better, what you can do better. Please start reading. Don't waste your time watching TikTok and watching YouTube and Facebook stuff, watching entertainment. Start adding some value to your life. Get this book tomorrow, borrow it from your library, get it from Amazon. I think it's 10 bucks. It's less than $10, this book. Get this book. This is Blockchain for Dummies. Read it and then tell me what you learned. Uh, that's all for now, folks. I hope we're able to see a better day tomorrow. I hope you wake up healthy and happy tomorrow morning. I hope uh, the coronavirus and any other challenges that we're facing as humanity are gone and that we're not suffering because of this. We're not, we're not uh, no longer affected in any way because of this, because it's really frustrating to see people suffer and people not doing well and people not being healthy. Uh, maybe this is, this, is a, this is a call for all of us to... To, to be better people, to join hands and, and care for each other and look out for each other. Maybe this is a signal uh, from the forces beyond that say, people, you need to be more people and forget about technology because nothing is helping you right now. You've got to be better people and support each other. Please, let's extract this message from the current times and try to, try to think about how can we use it for the betterment of humanity, betterment of ourselves, and how can it make us better people? If we can just get one lesson out of it, that would be really, really, really amazing. I love you guys. Have a great night wherever you are. If you're just waking up in the Middle East or in Asia, well, have a great day. And I hope you have a stellar, super successful and um, and healthy day. This is Ian Khan. Check me out at iancon.com. Subscribe to my video right now. Just click subscribe down here. Subscribe to my channel right now. I'm on a challenge right now. I've got to ramp up my number of people that I reach. So please do this. Uh, share my video with your friends just to inspire them, just to give them or show them a new perspective uh, because that's what brings a learning, seeing and, 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 and listening to new perspectives. I love you guys. Take care. Have a great night. Have a good day.